Yeah, Country Club has proven to be an essential stop among our travels. The resources here will provide the resources and materials for a very long time. I think it's time we head back to the warehouse and fix up its feng shui and defendability though. Alrighty guys, today is going to be half and half of base improvement and looting. I really want to organize myself, so working on the base and its whole aesthetic is going to be a must for me. And I think it's going to look at pretty good at the end, if you, you know what I mean. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zombie. We are back with Hugo Dankworth. We got around 8 shrapnel shells, we got our salvage shiv, and we have almost a full freaking trunk of supplies. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go stay here for a little bit, so I'm gonna be taking all the bare essentials, okay? So that means screwdriver, welding mask, welding torch, and everything we need to actually disassemble stuff. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make anything good, but oh man, we have a lot of good stuff here. Actually, we'll be taking the pork chop and mutton chop as well, because we should be able to cook that up real nice. All right. I think that's gonna be it. Also, I got a better sorting mod, so it's actually pretty good sorting. Like, tools, weapons, melee, literature, like, it's really nice. It is actually very, very nice. Okay. I think we're just about ready to do our thing. We could actually make a spear. You know what? Uh, what would it take to make a salvaged spear, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it, that might be pretty nice. Spear. We need a file. Leather strips, and a couple of- we could do that! We could totally do that! Okay, now the problem about the file is that it's back at home, so we're probably just gonna make some average spears for now. We should be able to make some pretty nice ones at the very least, I just wanna have a nice melee weapon. There we go. Yeah, look at that condition actually! We have a really good uh, level in uh, carpentry, so that should be no problem for us. Okay. Let's go equip these as primary. We got our, we got everything else ready to rock. Okay, I think spears are gonna be one of the better weapons to use in this type of situation. Hey, buddy, stabby skills that don't require too much strength are gonna be the wave. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go check out some more of this country club. We haven't really investigated much of the second story here. I decided that I'm not gonna stay, and I'm gonna stay at the warehouse base. So, I think that'll be a lot nicer for me, but I will absolutely pick this place clean of anything of use, including these water coolers. These are actually going to be very nice to have around. We could put almost like 10 of- actually, not 10. Actually, we could put around 7, I would say, in our inventory before we start to get a little bit filled up. And since water coolers are honestly- a top tier water collection thing. It'll be nice to keep them around with us. Sure, they might weigh a little bit, but since we actually have a beautiful, beautiful, hard earned, totally worth it survivor bag. Wow, there are a lot of water coolies here. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. Now, let's go check out our skills. Uh, halfway to fitness, halfway to strength. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here for, but I would like to camp out for at least a little bit because there are a lot of resources here. So we might honestly run out of space in our ambulance. We are filling that thing up quick. Hello? And a lot of zom zoms in this old area. Flash, nothing. Desk, black, yeah. No, don't need that black pen. Okay. Oh, there's a zom zom in here. Oh, little does he know that I am right behind him with a super stab. Ooh, <gasps> castles and creatures booster pack! Oh, man! Christmas came early! <laughs> We're gonna save this for later. <laughs> oh, man. Christmas really did come early. Castles and creatures? That's a, that's a limited edition card pack right there. Oh, hell yeah, Hugo. See, you gotta win the little battles in life. <laughs> uh, I love how it, like, I'll be honest here. Hugo looks pretty damn intimidating. Like, pink shirt aside, if you saw this man roll up to you, and, like, he demanded all of your money... You would give it to him. I will take the microwave actually as well. That microwave is gonna be nice to have. Oh yeah, we have so much stuff in here, man. I actually kind of want to also get some, uh, whatchamacallit. Ooh, cold pack! Nice, we can, uh, actually turn that into a smoke bomb very soon. Okay, I think we're gonna go- oh my gosh, look at all these water coolers, man! 
We're gonna be drowning in water coolers. Okay. I think we are just about ready to head back. Let's go grab this next water dispenser. We have four, dude. Four freaking water dispensers. That's gonna help us out quite a bit. We also got our beautiful, beautiful handmade double barrel shotgun. Don't leave home without it anymore. Uh, uh, you'd be crazy if I left home without that thing, man. Okay, rest of this is just random crap that we don't need. Actually, what I will do, since we are staying here for a hot sec, I'm gonna drink some water. We might as well use the amenities here, right? So let's go yoink these pork chops. And yeah, we'll go cook them up real quick. We'll go sit down and I think we've earned our castles and creatures opening back. Oh man, I can't wait to see what I get. Okay, this is a monumental occasion for us. While our food is cooking, let's go sit down for a sec. Open card booster pack. We got a blue card, green card. We got a mage. We have Hellhound and my favorite, Berserker. <laughs> actually, second favorite. I actually really like... And we got a stick of gum. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's time to wait for Din Din and things are going to be a okay. Alrighty, dinner is served. Look at this bad boy. Now, these are actually going to give us a little bit of boredom and unhappiness, but we should be able to fight that pretty easily by just reading books, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go. A dummy filled is a job well done, if you ask me. Alrighty, I think we're going to go head back, drop off all of our goodies, and we'll find a nice little alcove to rest up for the day. We we'll might as well jog around a little bit just to kind of work everything. Also, these spears. Holy hell are they good. Uh, what level of carpentry do we actually have? We have... Level 3 carpentry. That's nothing to scoff at, man. How the hell did you break into my sanctum without my permission? I'll have you... I got something for you, lady. They call this the battalion charge. It was used in 10 different wars and 10 different occasions. Yeah! <laughs> Lady never saw it coming. Stupid imbecile. Absolute mortal. Ooh, that's a pretty good hoodie. Yo, hold up. Hood down. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> yes. Your power. Hugo, you have really outdone yourself today. Now, the only problem... The Country Club does have that pool, and that pool is very nice for actually getting bait fish and going fishing. So, we will be missing that. But look at what we got instead. We got a whole lot of goodies. Now, I'm actually going to be leaving all the tools on us. We'll be dropping off everything, like the water dispensers, but also keep the food on us as well. Okie dokie, I think we're just about ready to head out. We got our extra spear, we got all of our goodies, we got some extra food, extra, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, just your average every day in the flats. There's another water cooler there. We already have quite a bit, though. Also, I'm going to be rounding... Oh my, look at all of the water coolers, man. What the heck? We're actually drowning in water right now. But before I do anything else, I actually do want to grab these uh, scrap metal. Because one of you guys said, actually... Uh, beforehand is that we're gonna be able to turn all the scrap metal into usable metal by combining them since it only it weighs one pound each oh Man, that's uh, that's quite a bit. Let's see here. We need three metal parts in order to make scrap metal <laughs> Yeah, that ain't worth it. That's too much weight. It, I would have taken it if it was something a little bit smaller We'll use that when we actually save it for the warehouse right now That is kind of useless for us, but I will actually be taking all these small metal sheets these are actually really nice to come by, and you don't get a lot of them, to be honest, alright? Yeah, I want to be very thorough if, I, if I'm if I'm going to leave this area, you know? Same thing with the leather jackets, we can use those quite a bit. Uh, we'll probably get quite a few of them normally, but it's just nice to have them in general, you know what I mean? There we go. It's doing the good old roundup. You know, we're running around, we're sweating a little bit, we're getting that extra... Actually, the hoodie, we're probably going to save for uh, winter, because right now... That does technically weigh us down. How are sneakers looking? Yeah, pretty decent, to be honest. I'll take it. It seems like we got a couple bogeys out over here. Ah, uh, this seems like it's just the two of them. 
Hello, sir and madam. Actually, both madam. My ladies! Have you come to see your lord and savior, Hugo Dankworth? Oh, man. Actually, this thing's... Oh, it broke. Okay. So, it seems like... Yeah, we'll just drop that. Don't mind me, lady. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to pull out the meat cannon for this one. Oh, wow. I'll give you credit. You survived pretty easily there. But, uh, you are no use. Oh, man, I really want that Hawaiian shirt. Okay. We got our second spear here. We could actually attach it with some stuff, too. I really want to see that metal spear, though. Like, that thing at work? Whoa, that would be pretty crazy, you know what I mean? So, uh, it'd be cool if we could work up to that. Okay. Uh, we actually do have some lockers downstairs. Let's go grab all the scrap metal that we w left over there as well. And, let's not forget the good old alcohol cabinet. This is what's going to keep us fed for quite a while, okay? Alcohol is very dense in calories, and while Hugo doesn't really like, you know, uh, things that make him dependent on it, uh, calories are just too good to pass up right now, okay? I'll be honest here, especially with extremely rare loot, you gotta make exceptions, and this is one of the exceptions, okay? So, yeah, we're gonna be stocking up on a whole lot of alcohol. This is gonna be real nice for the job ahead. Probably sleep on one of the nice beds, to be honest. Can I disassemble this piano? Oh, we totally can. Can we pick it up? Oh, we totally can. Man, okay. I'll probably make multiple trips out to the country club. Because that actually has a lot of... Hey. Prepare to die. Oh, now I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to proc an inch to kill... Come on, man. You're, you're really ruining my spear right now. Come on, dude. There we go. Okay, this thing is absolutely worthless now. Okay, so durability has definitely been nerfed on them spears, but I guess it kind of makes up for it in terms of just uh, usability, right? Sure, it breaks real quick, but hey, when it's not breaking, it's doing pretty good, you know what I mean? Also, it does technically level our character even more so than before. I uh, leave anything good in here. Oh, we left a metal sheet. How bad of me, man. See, this is what's gonna kill me. Okay, we need stuff like this. We need a lot of stuff like this in order to make cool stuff. If we're not making cool stuff, we're not living. If we're not living, we're dying. And if we're dying, we lost. You know what I mean? Okay. I wanna go check out some of these homes. We're definitely gonna have to use the good old-fashioned, uh... Scholar's weapon. And what I mean by that is just, uh... I'm gonna blast their brains out with a double barrel shotgun powered by air, is what I mean. Okay. That's not sugarcoated any other way. That's the only way it can be, and the only way it should be, to be honest. Okay, I think we're just about done with the this area here. I think I'm gonna go make a whole bunch of scrap shells, and we might go say hi to one of the Mega Hordes, and we might try and take them on. Mano y mano, alright? I think we're just about ready. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go shut this door, and we're gonna go to sleep. Okay, good night, everyone. You guys have a good one. I'm also going to be washing myself off because I'm absolutely filthy, too. Aw, oh, dang. It seems like the food actually rotted right in my pot, uh, right in my backpack while we went to sleep. Well, that's one missed opportunity. Alrighty, let's just take it easy. I don't know how much more of this area we have to actually explore. To be honest, now nah, we can't get anything good right now. I might just use a scrap shiv, you know, as a nice little side weapon. Okay, gotta take it easy. I wonder if we could actually turn uh, this into scrap metal. Seems like we could also deconstruct some more stuff for metal parts, too. Um, actually, I don't think we can use a crappy metal. I think that was only for the metal parts. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Whatever. We'll be alright. Uh, we just gotta get home. Okay, that's all we gotta do right now. As soon as we get home, everything will be so much better. Hey, what's in here? Oh, blocked. Just desks. Okay. I think we might be done looting this country club. I don't see anything else that I could loot. You know, just the other side over here is just gonna be... Walkway... Yeah! Yeah, I think we're done here. Alrighty. Let's go hop into the vehicle and let's get back to our warehouse base. I will be disassembling a lot more of the stuff later, but we can make multiple trips, you know, just grabbing our stuff. 
as we go on by through the world. Should I yoink that last water container? You'd be stupid if I didn't take it with me. Come on. You, who do you think I am? Hello? Hey, I'm, uh, kind of doing something right now. Don't mind me. I'm hearing a lot of zombies. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Good night, lady. <laughs> Nothing the good old double barrel shotgun can't handle. You know what I mean? Like, it is honestly a gentleman's weapon. It's quick, painless, quiet. What, are, what else would you want if you wanted to die, you know? Actually, I'd want my death to be loud. Courageous. And loud. I'd want it to be really loud. I'd want to go out with, like, a stick of dynamite, you know, like, hold it between my teeth like those action movies. Like, <laughs> Yeah, nothing to me, zombies, and then, you know, everything explodes, and it's gonna be really cool, and then I'm gonna be like, I am the last cure for humanity, you can't do nothing, stupid butt face zombies, and then I'll, like, throw a grenade, and they'll, like, all, like, explode, including me in the blast, and then I'll get, like, a statue, you know, Hugo Dankworth, the hero, yeah, never, uh, could ever, the hero, yeah, could <laughs> okay we almost got everything in here we have a lot of stuff to drop off today all right oh yeah we got a whole bunch of goodies yep that is a completely full back holy heck man we can't make much to be honest i might make some uh oh we could use nails for this okay that's pretty cool i think we're just gonna save it for I don't know how many nails we need, so I'm just gonna save that. I'd like to keep most of my nails, but scrap metal is completely free game. We'll go craft just a few more, you know. There we go. Okay, we got around 21 shells, which is pretty good in my opinion. We'll go drop that off in there. Okay, I think we're ready to get out of here. Do we have a... Ah, we have a water dispenser in our inventory. Yeah, that would do it. We can actually shove an entire water dispenser into the glove box. I'd like to keep the other seat clear, so yeah. Okay, we'll put the other jackets in there as well. Might as well make it a nice little habit. Alrighty, I think we're ready to get the heck out of here. Come on, start it up. Oh, come on. Come on, ambulance. Yeah, actually, before we do anything else, uh, good question. I almost forgot something. I want to grab my propane torch. Should probably actually refill it right now, too, while we're at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. There we go. Completely filled. Wow, that took a lot out of the propane tanks. Okay, we're going to need quite a few of these, actually, then. Okay, give me some. Where is it? Where is it? Metalworking. Nice. Yeah, give me, like, six of these bad boys. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be repairing... Our trunk as, I mean, our hood as well, because this thing has definitely seen a lot of damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, what we could do, potentially repair 7%. Oh, actually, we're getting diminishing returns on it now, huh? Uh, yikes, dude. That ain't gonna happen then. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna have to wait on that, which is pretty sad. Maybe we'll get our uh, mechanics up soon. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna not have to hit zombies then. We'll just have to make a conscious effort to not do that. We'll keep the propane torch on us. Honestly, the propane torch is what is keeping us, keeping us alive right now. Okay, let's go start this bad boy up and let's get going. Oh, hello there. There seems to be a little bit of a commotion over here. Seems like we got out actually in the nick of time. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my lord, that's a lot of them. That's like... Two mega hordes, I'd say. Hey, guys, I'm just going on through. Don't mind me. Unless you really want to, and then I will destroy you. Hold on, hold on. This guy thinks he's better than the rest of us. Look at this little freaking idiot, huh? Yeah, you think you're so cool running, huh? Yeah, yeah, you, you're really athletic. Bam! Bam! <laughs> yeah. I'm the one who has the power here, you imbeciles. <laughs> yes. With the power of metalworking, I will remain on top. You zombies never stood a damn chance, I told you what. <laughs> See you later, losers. I got some castles and creature cards 
booster packs to open later if I can ever make it to town again. Oh, actually. Go check this out real quick. Hey, I got anything good in you? It's locked. Locked. Smash that open with the butt of our cool handmade double barrel shotgun. Uh, unlock the trunk. Nice. I wonder if they got any gas as well. Hey, shotgun shells. Nice. Recoil pad. Who needs that when you have scrap weapons? Okay. Actually, can we attach that to our M16, M14? I There actually is a new update. I can go over here. Saw. Yeah, you can saw off a double barrel now. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what it actually looks like, so if I come across one, I might want to, you know, use it. But that's an extra box of shoddy shells. I will be taking that. Man, we have a lot of stuff in here. Holy hell, this is going to take a little bit to uh, actually move. You know what I mean? But we'll grab some gas cans because we are honestly really low on that. Hey, they do have gas. Okay, very nice. Very nice. I'll go grab this real quick. Cool. How much gas was that? Nice. Almost a full uh, thing. Okay, we'll go add it in right here. Okay. Gas tank is on driver's side. Good to know. I, f I feel like an idiot after last episode, especially with all the bamboozles I pulled, but I will not let that slow me down. Oh, hey, lady, is that a leather jacket? I actually need those for one of my projects. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> you weren't supposed to survive that. I'm sorry about this. Uh, I'll make it a little bit more personal. There we go. Yeah, I do need that. Thank you, lady. You are the best. See you later, baby. <laughs> I'm such a, I'm such a swooner. Okay, let's get out of here. Speed, speed boy. Speed boy. Okay, there's actually quite a few zombies here. We ought to take it easy. Okay, I'm not trying to get dead here. Uh, we gotta head back to our warehouse, though. I feel like that's gonna be number one right now and then we'll take a nice little gauge of what we can actually make it's gonna take a little bit to uh, organize through our uh our 130 pound inventory but i feel like we should be able to just segment them off to be honest what i might try and do is pick up crates and get some crates down instead of the shelves so that way we can have a crate for each individual thingy mabobber you know what i mean so uh yeah I'd want to stay, actually. Hey, look, the nail trick work, actually. <laughs> oh, I am such a genius sometimes, I tell you what. My genius is unparalleled, especially since I'm the potentially last person on the world. Uh, ooh, two. Yo, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. That's like something you see out of a movie. You gotta give me that much, boys. You gotta give me that much. Check this one out. Skrr. Okay, that was a really bad uh, drift, actually. Uh, don't, don't check that one out. Don't, don't do that at all, actually. Oh my, do you see that turnaround, though? Ooh, man! We're gonna have to get a new vehicle. <laughs> as much as I like this ambulance, it is not gonna survive the, uh, the brutal nature of Hugo. <laughs> Hugo's a very up and get him guy, you know? He might be shy, but my god, does he have... Uh, a tendency just to kill everything in his wake. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going the right way anymore. Scenic Grove. Oh, no, we are. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, I, I know where I'm at now. Okay, we're almost there, boys. Almost home. Oh, I can, I can taste my home even. That's weird to say, but I really can. Oh, baby, we're home. We're home. Just a little bit more. Hey, I remember that idiot. That guy sprinted at me. Little freaking bojo firefighter looking butt. Athletic little butt, uh, butt muncher. <laughs> I bet he dies to goblins. Okay. We made it back. Nice. But don't mind me. I'm just backing up very smoothly. Up. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, you're really doing this, huh? I really don't want to do that to you, so just leave me alone. Oh, let me, uh, let me actually position this. 
Okay, dude. You're you're really pissing me off. Dude. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. You did it, you did it, you did it, you did it. Yeah, how's that feel, you freaking dumbo? <laughs> yeah, I bet he I bet he I bet he peed his pants when he was a kid. Okay, come on. Just a little bit more. Come on. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll back this up just as far as we can take it, actually. Okay. I think this will be a good spot to end it. Let's go shut that grass door. <laughs> I bet you blew in from stupid town. Stupid idiot. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We made it home, boys. Uh -huh. With, like, a whole bunch of, uh, water dispensers, too? Honestly? Pretty good of a haul. 11 o'clock right now, too. We made it past the chopper event. Things are going pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna go organize stuff now. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Check this place out. Isn't it looking pretty nice? I think tomorrow... I'm gonna actually barricade everything. I'm gonna go back into the normal voice now, but I'm gonna get everything. I'm gonna put like a big crate wall around these stairs. And I'm probably gonna actually disassemble everything I can, get all the planks, round them up in the middle. And I'm thinking of having multiple entrance points with sheet ropes all around the roof here. So I'd like to make that staircase as secure as possible. As you see, we are getting quite a bit of it done. This is my little hobby collection shelf. This right here is my weapon shelf. This right here is my food shelf. This right here is my clothing shelf. This is the most amount of inventory management I've done in a while. And I just placed down all of these crates. So we are going to have crates for each of our stuff too. So this is honestly really nice. I, obviously, I have all the stuff that I could craft with all in here. So that's going to be pretty nice. I think we're going to go have some alcohol. It's t It took me actually a little bit of... No, I mean, like, it obviously took me a little bit of time getting this, but I'm really happy with it. This is, like, the first time I've really done anything like this, so it's been pretty cool. I think we're just gonna have, honestly, some red wine sounds really nice right about now. We're gonna get super duper tired, but at the very least, we're gonna be alright. We have water for days, water dispensers up the wazoo. We don't have to worry about water for quite a while, especially since, like, one of those is gonna take us, like, four or five days worth. So, yeah. We honestly don't have much left in here. We have around 20 things. We got some... Actually, we do have some gas left. Oh, I almost forgot my Cashless <laughs> Creatures card and my stick of gum. But yeah, we just have, you know, just some average stuff in here. We'll probably sort through it out a little bit later. I'm not too worried about it. Honestly, right now, what I kind of want to do is disassemble some of these. Actually, we could probably just pick them up and have the same effect. Though, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, this is going to be pretty messy, but what I want to be doing right now is we're just going to pick these up. Potentially, we could just break it. That's always a part of the, you know, I guess, risk. But here's, like, my plan, right? So, I want a lot of crates here. Like, I mean a lot. So, we're obviously going to have a nice little path just for us right now. But the plan, right, is to actually just completely fill us up with just crates upon crates so it takes zombies quite a while to actually get to me you know what i mean like if there's a lot of stuff between me and them they're gonna think twice about actually getting to me since furniture barricades are pretty nice i would like to utilize it okay and i also have another idea right after we're done with this and that's gonna be actually uh whatchamacallit this is actually going to look pretty dang cool once we're done with it. We're going to have like an entire wall of just crates around here, right? I'd, I'd even double stack it. That's how much like I want to just get this in, right? But we're actually going to go grab all the planks we have right now on the ground. We obviously don't have that much, but we can easily disassemble them pretty nicely. I'm just kind of curious about what we can actually craft with all this good stuff. We're getting very exerted. We're very hungry. We could probably go for some more alcohol. But, uh, let's see here real quick. Um, I would actually like to get a rudimentary, uh, thing going in here. But, yeah, we have a lot of goodies. And I don't think I'm gonna waste any of the nails as well. Okay. Let's see what we can actually make here. Scrap blade. Nippon steel. Scrap machete. Stop sign. Oh, my. Yeah, what does it take for a spear, though? All we need right now 
actually are leather strips and we can easily make those easily we got a lot of uh, leather jackets here so maybe before we end off the episode we make one last final thing i also want to get uh the rest of the crates down here as well i think that'd be pretty nice okay we're gonna be all right okay here goes ben this this ain't his first rodeo is all i'm saying right we have another water dispenser that i almost forgot about we'll be yoinking that as well okay let's grab this okay we're looking pretty good to be honest, yeah, yeah, I'm going to save this for the next episode, but what we, what we can do is just grab some extra crates here. What I kind of want to do is have, like, this nice little palisade look. I really am digging it right now, so let's just keep on getting some more of these crates. There's, like, a 50% chance we break them, but that's a pretty nice chance, all things considered. Here's a plan, right? So we just keep on getting these. Nails, especially useful in this situation. Just want to make sure all these are actually empty before we go ahead with it. Lots of paint, to be honest. That's pretty nice. Okay. And we failed that one, but that's okay, because we get a plank out of it. But I kind of want to just have it, like, going off like this. Should be pretty darn nice. At least then we'll have, like, a little bit of spaceage between me and the rest of the, you know, of the undead buffoons, you know what I mean? Tarp. Actually, I barely looted these, huh? Black paint. We ought to turn all this into fresh water before the water actually runs out as well. We have to do a lot of stuff here, to be honest, so we have quite a bit ahead of us. But I'm just going to be doing something simple for at least right now. I want to double stack this for sure. Oh, wow. That was the only one we got. Huh. Wow, that was a really crappy uh, chances. Whatever. We'll grab some more then. Fine by me. There we go. We got one. Nice. Come on. Give me another. No, you want to. Ah. Yes, we got two, and we got three. Nice. Okay, so we'll double stack this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking pretty good, man. Nice. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere. I like this barricade quite a bit, actually. We have one more? No, we don't. We're gonna have to go grab some more. The good thing is we literally ha only have crates right now, so it's not too much of a problem with me. The only thing that's actually limiting us right now is uh our stamina. But that's okay, because the more we push ourselves, the harder we will become. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, never- no, 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 that sounded a little bit wrong. But the, the, the more we push ourselves, the harder of a body we will have. There we go, that sounds a lot better than the harder we will become. <laughs> okay, we're almost done here. Uh, just a little bit more and then I'll feel pretty safe. Actually, if I could grab two, that'd be pretty cool. It don't seem like that's gonna happen, though. Definitely gonna seem like it's gonna happen. Okay. Let's grab the rest of this, put this on the floor, and grab these two. Gosh, dang, we really suck at this, huh? There we go, we got an extra one. Ah, we'll leave it be for now. I think that'll be good enough. We'll grab all these planks, though, because planks are very nice to have. And we'll just place... We only got one more. Just place one right in here. There we go! Now we kind of got this whole downwards area. Of course, we're going to need to double stack everything on the outside of here. But that way... We don't really have to worry about too many zombies getting in, right? So what did we grab out of that whole thing? Ah, plain leather jackets. Nice. We'll go rip this all into clothing real quick. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, we need metalworking four. Dang it. Oh, we are so close. Yet so far. Okay. So I think next episode, we're really going to make this place just pop, okay? I think that's going to be the plan. We should be able to make it happen. Hugo is a very smart individual, very crafty, very, very shrewd as well, okay? And then we can start to worry about food again. Right now, I don't really care about food. We really don't have to care about water. I think this will be a good spot to end it. If you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a dang good day. Peace out. Man, look at this base. I love it. I love it so far.